It's like the opening line to a clickbait article. Were you distracted by the 10-foot alien in Miami when J.P. Morgan announced they'll be declaring bankruptcy on January 23rd? Well, that was according to this dude who said... So guys, they seem to have our collective a little distracted once again with this shit going on in Miami. Uh, while this was taking place, there was something major going on in the background. JP Morgan literally just declared that they'll be filing for bankruptcy January the 23rd, which is in two weeks time. May I repeat, the biggest banker in the world, JP Morgan, has literally just declared that they'll be filing for bankruptcy on January the 23rd. So while everyone was distracted by this uh, teenage fight that 80 cop cars needed to be uh, called to, that you then thought that the distraction from that was the aliens at the mall, which was actually Project Bluebeam. Man, you guys know all this is coming. Then I also seen another post that uh, they typed that it was a portal and they typed in reverse coordinates and the reverse coordinates located back to Antarctica. Man, come on guys, we're smarter than this. You can see through all this shit, come on guys. So uh, yeah, JP Morgan filing for bankruptcy. They're only filing for bankruptcy from the fiat system that we're currently operating in, guys. Uh, so what do you reckon is gonna happen with the rest of the banks in the world? They're all gonna follow suit and after the banks go and the stocks go, it's all going to go together, man. This is going to make 2008 look like child's play, guys. This is a complete and utter collapse, and they're going to be transferring all this into the digital system um, with the CBDCs and all this kind of thing. Uh, fear not, guys, because if you can't beat them, you join them. Ellie and I talked about this last night on our N5D Global Predictions show, and I mentioned that I didn't have any time to research the validity of this information before we went on air. What's going to happen by the end of the month when J.P. Morgan declares bankruptcy? That's the question. And maybe we should look into that. You sent me that video, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have time to do any research after that. I, you know, to, I, I don't want to say that. I'd like to see some, some proof on them declaring bankruptcy to make sure that it's not just a rumor. Yep. But if it's true, that's huge. And I don't want to be like the people who put out fear mongering messages regarding FEMA and the emergency broadcast system on October 4th in order to gain supporters through fear and clickbait while trying to sell tickets to an overpriced conference. Today I did the research from last night's video and I found nothing that says JP Morgan will be declaring bankruptcy this month or any time in the near future. And honestly, it's a completely believable rumor because the only things you'll get from fiat currencies are hyperinflation and its inevitable collapse. In related news, this article appeared on Yahoo. U.S. states make bold move to reclassify gold and silver. Bills filed in the Oklahoma and Missouri legislatures for the 2024 legislative session would eliminate state capital gains taxes on the sale of gold and silver. The legislation would also take other steps to treat gold and silver as money instead of as commodities. The article goes on to say, under provisions in the Missouri bill, gold and silver, physical or electronic form, would be accepted as legal tender and would be receivable in payment of all debts contracted for in the state of Missouri. The state would require to accept gold and silver for the payment of public debts. Private debts could be settled in gold and silver at their party's discretion. Practically speaking, this would allow Missourians to use gold or silver coins as money rather than just as mere investment vehicles. In effect, it would put gold and silver on the same footing as the Federal Reserve notes. So is this the first step in going back to a gold-backed currency? The problem with it right now is that the values of both gold and silver are being artificially suppressed and in my opinion 
should be much higher than their going rates. And this is by no means financial advice. It's merely my opinion, but if I had the financial means to do so, I would buy physical gold and silver. I would also buy lots of junk silver because that would be one of the main ways to barter if and when the dollar collapses. So will that happen this month? No one knows the answer when the dollar will die. But it won't be because of the false rumor of JP Morgan allegedly declaring bankruptcy on January 23rd. Whenever you hear stories like this, do your own research, folks, and follow those people you can trust. There's too much fear in this world and not enough love. Always choose love. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped to support my work on Patreon. Please join me there at patreon.com slash n5d and get a shout out on upcoming N5D production videos, as well as being listed on our Wall of Gratitude featured on N5D.com. And if no one told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. Until the next time, much love from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone, and take care of each other.